All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the uh, Pannonian of our series, um, which mm, <laughs> I'm just, you know, if in case you didn't see the last episode, oh boy, we're doing the second half of that last episode for the first time. Carpathia joined on the crusade, and um, obviously Jerusalem is still under the control of the Muwalid Empire. Yeah, which they are from the Janabids originally, which I never really looked at the history, knowing that I paid little attention to such things. Which, of course, one would think, well, where did they come from? Scrolls, scrolls, scroll. Ah, there you go. There's a way to zoom it out. So, they came from Al Hassa. So, Al Hassa, so their dynasty that now rules the empire originated from there. From the deserts. From the deserts of Arabia. And, and part of the Al Hassa region. Yep, those guys whose descendants come from a humble Bedouin background now rules the empire that bested all of us with them, along with many of their allies who who adheres to the Ashari form of Sunni Islam. Yes, there's Indian Muslims, including Hindustani. But after, you know, a lot of us lost that crusade, the uh, fervor went down quite a bit because you fa we failed that crusade. And the uh, Lollard heresy had been come up just recently prior to um, the crusade. There was a scandalous priest out there and then another scandalous priest. The county of uh, Kayari, that's in Sardinia, gained from the uh, Abidans. Another unrelated issue. Hey, wait a minute. Can you see something that's a bit off on the religion, man? Why is there a Sharism? Right in the middle of the Balkans. A Sindhi. My goodness. How did he get his culture changed? He don't look Indian at all, and they wear Indian clothing in the Balkans. In fact, they not just rule that region. My goodness. Everybody's a Muslim over there. What? Them too. I was about to say, you know what this calls for. <laughs> but I could. Knowing that, you know, I still got a good couple of years left in me. <laughs> it wasn't my idea to say, it's like, hey, let's make a Empress, even though Byzantium would probably want that. When did this happen? So Dionysius, the first of Thessalonica, did he marry a Muslim? Is that what happened here? No. I mean, obviously they're Orthodox Christians still. Some of them did become Muslim, but that's because it's during the while the rulers were alive. So it was inherited by the Shahzada, who has since passed last year, in fact. In fact, that conversion to you know, Islam at that time might have happened at the same time as the uh, Crusade, <laughs> and yet it happened while nobody was looking. 
why Byzantium slash Armenian Empire, as I sometimes call it because of who that culture is ran by and their religion, hasn't even, you know, bothered with them yet. Why is it this all over the news? <laughs> well, we know that man passed away of cancer sometime, and since 1099, um, is this man. This. So is it because he married to some, um, I mean, you could say it's like, yes, she is ethnically Kanalji, so she is North Indian, but she is albino, which makes you think otherwise. <laughs> Where did she come from, and um, why did this become the predominant culture instead of the usual Greek? What made him turn to this end? The real question is, where do they come from? It's because a Greek married to a Sinti woman who is from Rajputana, as she is landed as a Dhammapatani. There's no background, and yet she is the mother of the rulers of Thessalonica and Brachial, Albania today. while others remain Greek, but their names are Greek. And now they all have Sindhi names. Clear one who is albino. I don't think that culture is really going to be introduced in such a way in Europe, or in the Balkans at least. I mean, it's still predominantly Greek. If they want to convert that culture, to Sindhi. And there's Greco Bulgarian, there's Greek, Greek. Now keep in mind, most of their Greek is ruled by Armenians, which they're both Byzantine heritage. One second. Are you sure? Yes. Diverged from Greek. And there is something screwy going on over there. I'm just fascinated. And because of his geographic location in the, in the middle of this part of Macedonia and over there with uh, Oh, I'm trying to think. What was that land they used to call before it was Albania? There is. It's called Dracula. Epirus is down here. It's part of the kingdom of Epirus. And Kania, well, that came from uh, Cretans, who moved themselves out there. And then there's that breakaway clan. <laughs> What's up with clan garments? I mean, they're out there, it's just it's not widely adopted in some parts. That's because there's still old of our culture that still exists. That's the reason for the clan government form. And, um, of course, can't really switch that form of government. And also another thing I've noticed is, why am I seeing that roll court button glowing? It's because of the grandeur, which I have wanted as it is, ranked first in the world. Maybe that's the reason. Maybe it's because first in the world. Maybe that's why it's shining. Or not. I don't know. This is something strange. But anyway, so we may consider going to war against this Sultanate of Thessalonica to take uh, the Emirate of Dracon. A duchy costs less, and this will give them a chance to retake Thessalonica for good. And what do we do with Dracon? They've all converted down there. And this is ruled by Sultan. Oh, 
<laughs> Sicilian Serbia. Ain't that something? What on earth? <laughs> you see what I see? They're both Philippa II of Bulgaria and Serbia with two different women. Two different kings, but two queens of the same name. <laughs> this crazy world that we live in. So apparently I did... I don't know what's going on on those two. On the mind of those two. Like they say, uh... I mean, they're not twins, right? No. The ten years separated. So, Massimino is a silly man, and... That could be the reason that justifies it. Which, again... Having 1100s when I wasn't paying attention to the rest of the other country's affairs. So, apparently, uh... When they... The child, the child, the child, the child. So let's call her Philippa. And then ten years later I have another child. Like, what do you name it? And he's like, uh Philippa. And we're like, you sure? Yes, I'm sure. But keep in mind, he was unlanded, he was just a nobleman. And how did these two rule Serbia and Bulgaria? Oh, actually he was the ruler. It's just he abdicated. And that means Bulgaria's got to have the same result. Yep. He was the king of both Bulgaria and Serbia. Heard of the abdication. Had no heir, so it went to this claimant that's of a Sicilian origin. <laughs> if they persist long enough, then maybe they'll create a um, Serbo Sicilian or Bulgaro Sicilian. Sicilian, whatever. <laughs> Trust me, it's confusing sometimes. So, for this time, we will recover our army after that disastrous crusade that was saw in the last episode. And then we're going to try to take Dracon before any of the others do. Because those people have been around for a while whilst we weren't paying attention. Show some restraint. I'd like to get no thigh cell so I'll know when I'll pass. Wants to write a magnificent book. Consider Master by a piece. Okay, how old are you? She's doing fine. Okay. How much? 98. Your learning skill? Good enough. Thank you for believing me, my lady. Beneficiary Anna smiles rigidly before tilting her head. Aura, I'm not quite sure what to write about. Recently I've been interested in topics related to herbs. Do you think that I would be that would be a good focus for the book? The book will be about intrigue. Because I have a flamboyant trickster. Write about intrigue. We do have a martial book, and now we need an intrigue book. Swain a Croatian king so he don't break away again. Because that man's got an awful lot of power. I mean, after all, the, uh... Croatian coax is slightly more developed than we give him credit for while we're developing the heck out of Visegrad. Because we're going to be on the same league as Venezia. The twists and turns of fate have not always been an advantage. God knows that I was cursed the day I met some Sam. The curse has been lifted. Fate smiled upon me in that brush hurled through his grave. And not one day too soon. topics. My beneficiary Anna approaches me with her arms full of scrolls and manuscripts. My lady, there are so many areas of intrigue worthy of attention. Scheming, seduction, manipulation. I don't even know where to start.
What topic does we use yarn for? Just pick whatever. Need to raise a little more money and then we'll invite some new batch of knights. That reminds me of something. Never mind, these are all women. Hey, don't forget, not only you're going to be expanding down the drag count, you also got to expand westward. Because soon we'll be fighting a war against them, even though they got themselves preoccupied right now. I'm sure Dracon will be next. Thessalonica. Maybe. If they get Thessalonica, I'm gonna have Jack. I want that land for ourselves, so that way we could just have another season to deploy up to go somewhere fast. Not to mention we would be reaching the of that length towards that direction of Crete. That sounds like an idea. You know what? Make that an idea. You can say you don't have a cast Valley? Why don't we just buy a claim? Both of them. Use Crete as some sort of, you know, as a place to say... It's like, okay, here's what we're gonna do. Crete is just gonna be, uh, I wouldn't say a colony, but they will be ruled by Cretans and will become a Catholic island, as with Achaea being a Catholic country. It's just set it for cultural acceptance, because I'm sure those Cretan peoples are hard workers. Refined poetry. Nice people. Yeah, that's an idea. But of course, that would put you the gun with uh, a tool in it. It's just an idea. I think you may want to implement that idea sooner rather than later. So what is their military like? Vastly inferior against both. And the quickest way is through there. I mean, obviously, you're going to have to bring Siege Weaponry since they're going on the offensive. I mean, imagine that. Carpathian Crete. And it'll be ran by Cretans, as it should be. Yeah, why not? Create a vassal kingdom of Crete. It's quite an idea, but we'll implement that next year. Now, who would want to kill my daughter? I'd love to go west, but also like to take this, and Crete is another that would be of good interest, even though it's quite, quite separated from here, but I do not care. <laughs> Get a new antiquarian. It's a particularly important position. You know this stuff. So deploy it here. Our men at arms are good, but it's only levy star in recovery. And there is a shortage of uh, knights. But, do not fret. When Quran 
takes over. I suggest you should get married right now. But the question is who? Particularly somebody who is a genius. There is one, but that's too old. Who did I see? Fourteen. Keep looking. It's easy to sort things out. Maybe this one. But the real question is, what does he lack? Intrigue. So look for a genius that's good intrigue. I mean, there is one, but it is already at a certain age where that would not be that would not be good to anyone. Guess it'll have to be her. It's a patrol. It means you're gonna have to wait another year until you're officially married. As much as I like to spend my money to get more knights, but time is running short with me. So we shall start at Chandax. And we can use that as an iron base to deploy here to take another part here. And then we'll form that vassal kingdom of Crete. Connate of Crete. Use men at arms only. I'm gonna sail them over. There no match. Let's sail over anyway. Here. Or just to be on the safe side, land there first. And then work your way up to the cities. Crete is a hilly country. Hilly mountainous country. land here on the mountains even though it'll have that recently disembarked thing but one can only hope that um that our knights will do the best they can to fight off these enemies there mercenaries because of course they did and the uh, army of Kania is already present I'm sure they haven't been disturbed for many years. And now, uh, our presence is probably most unwelcoming of them. <laughs> my beneficiary approaches me with thoughtful expression. Is anyone special to you, my lady? She must read my irritation at such a personal question on my face. Before she continues, I've met. Is, is there anyone you wish to dedicate your commission artifact to? It is turning out well, but a meaningful description would make it even feel even more personal. There is no need for a dedication. I'd like to be the living legend at the end of it, but that's going to be wishful thinking at this point. 
Okay, we've landed. Now here's the deal. Opponent, me, recently disembarked, but I, we have a better army commander and myself, and we'll be fighting in the mountains, so we chose wisely to land here in the mountains, and, uh, and good luck to you men, including you, daughter, the old shield maiden. If you successfully fend them off, then uh, we'll, we'll be able to take this capital with ease, and where we can continue our offensive towards Kenya um, during the next phase of the Cretan conquest. Got that? All right, let's go for it. Going, Karan. My shield made it too. Captured Bernardin, Knight of the Berzabaya, and the Marshal of the area. But keep in mind, we only want the strong. Unless they have certain skills that would be to some use in some other areas. Do we have a military engineer in this arm? Yes, we do. Okay. Move up. I do have a hill fort, but who's gonna stop that? Plus, that man's a holy boy. Capture the mayor. Soon you're going to be out of the jobs. Alex and My lady, my beneficiary, Anna, smiles and gestures me over with thanks to stained hands. Book is finished. I hope the complete work overshadows my lack of knowledge on the subject. Please have a look. An open that book full of modest device for how to increase your fertility and keep your partner happy in the bedchamber. The cover is velvet. Now it's been brought to display a repeating image of a wolf's head. Okay. The wellspring of life. So, this is for the intrigue lifestyle. It's a court artifact. Useful if, uh, if you have a, uh, you know. Got nowhere to go but here. So what are you going to do about it? Well, as I said, they got nowhere to go, so they have no choice. Oh, a drunkard and delicate. It is part of the Byzantine. Okay, good to know. Not bad for 70. You know, I kind of wonder, does that make me the longest live ruler ever? 51, 67, 64, 69, 68, 62. Yes, now I'm the longest live ruler in my dynasty's history. Got the Alexandretan Amar armor. Lamella armor, excuse me. I don't know why I said that other name. Hmm. All right, we got it.
I've come to the realization I've never moved up that crown authority at all. Two can play that game. Two things. High partition. Two percent of their income and the five percent levies for some of the clan government vassals we have around here. I just want to thought I had hold it. Thought I had it. I don't know what made me switch to divine right. Anyways, so you need to live 14 months. That's all you gotta do. Now I got a new place to deploy. So I'll continue with the Cretan Conquest. Right. We've already beat him up well. Should be an easy one. Head over there. of the hoplites of what? And I saw that name. Kania. Not as fortified, but it does have a monk. And improved defenses because of who's the ruler here. Ah, that's the reason. Encountered a commoner outside today. She was, to my uh, puzzlement, looking very closely at the ground and the surface surfaces of various plants and rocks. It turned out that she was looking for any sign of snails. As assistant to the worker, uh, she was tasked with gathering some snail slime, as the mucus has very medicinal uses. That's frankly disgusting, but someone has to do it. Historically, in some parts of the world, people would collect snail slime as it was believed to have healing properties in regards to medical issues such as inflamed skin and stomach ulcers. Preliminary modern research suggests that it may indeed show promise to for repairing damaged tissue. Well, I don't know about that, in my humble opinion, as I just got that up. Numbered out here, but I ain't scared of. I'm sure they've already sent ships out there, but just don't move. Well, that's one of them.
know thyself, so I will know when I pass. He got it. Don't need to sway him anymore. You have the objective. Don't leave yet. You'll be reinforced in friendly occupied territory. Okay, now we reach the max. What's going on with that cave over there? Artifact claiming war. <laughs> Idiots. Secret documents lost. Oh no, they know my murder secrets. Oh, I got an idea. Just give me a moment. All you need to do is wait until the war score is 90%. Because remember, you have the Peacemaker. Peace acceptance plus 10, so once you reach 90%, war's over. But I'm sure they're coming down here. I was on I was on the way up to the town, not far with uh, Christina. Well, it was for a mundane business concerning my realm, and nothing of the ordinary. As we crossed a particular juncture on the road, however, she seemed to pause and turn her head to the side. What's the matter, Christina? I asked. Do you hear that? She said. I listened closely and I did hear the sound of singing birds. Christina pointed ahead to a couple of trees not too far from us. Perched on one of its branches were a couple of yellow hammers. Their bright yellow heads and upper parts unmistakable. Beautiful, isn't it? Christina says in a hushed tone. Let's wait a bit and hear the continued singing. That's my lady in waiting. It was spindly, hence the reason that appearance. Ah, uh, we should go. We have business to take care of. You know, the war. The Yellowhammer is a songbird native to much of Europe and parts of Central Asia and Siberia, which is known for its distinctive yellow color. Due to its prevalence, it is one of the most well-known songbirds in these regions. There is a legend that its song supposedly inspired Beethoven to write the famous and memorable opening four notes of his fifth symphony. Move to the middle of the island. Wherever they may land, we'll engage. Glad we're making fortune. Aha! Where are they landing? Over there. The movement is not yet blocked. It's the army of Famagusta and Puehora. Move on. Gotcha. I'm sure you want him. No? Okay. Silent is ours. It was you. This is a weak hook on me. I'll give you whatever you want. I'm already at the end of my life here. But I'll be having these items for myself for the domain for the time being.
got to repair these because, you know, they're still pretty important to us. It's, it's the sandals of Jesus, man. The skull of the terrifying wolf of Amicia. Anything else? The Wellspring of Life, that masterful work, masterwork book. For those with an intrigue education, they should learn from it. Whereas I still have the VAR books about books and uh, what's the other thing that's currently on display still? Where the hell is it? Ah, the, the Abhama Pitka, the one that we found in the Taran Basin, that's for monthly renown. like to have a trade port. <laughs> you know, that's for good for development. And here's the duchy building. Have a look. Speaking of duchies, you can make granddaughters shield maidens. It'll cost you prestige. They do have the skills, they do have what it takes. Welcome to the army. This is my other granddaughter. Oh, you are most well qualified. You got it. One second. So we get a few knights, don't worry, we have those that will fill it up. Granddaughters are allowed to join. That's something. Bosna, Crete, there you go. And I know I would be gone soon, but hey, can I request some money? Ask for gold. That's plenty. It's just a financial construction project <laughs> that relates to this domain here. But in the meantime, see to if you can convert. Six years, six years. 1.46, 1.47. Okay. But however, their development is rather low between each other. Here's the money. They do not have these innovations. Neither is manorialism. Because if I was to build a duchy building for ourselves in Crete, I would like to build leisure palaces. Because of stress loss. So you could say, now this is a place for vacation. <laughs> so you get a chateau. In the future, it could become a summer palace or a winter palace one day. So that will be part of the domain for the rest of my life. Road Siphon. On the road, my entourage and I come across a Catholic priest in robes. He is kneeling on the ground, looking at nowhere in particular as he chants some prayers. After, fin after he finishes, I asked him what he was doing. He explains that recently a woman died here in an accident. She was a poor woman with no family, so out of compassion and pity, I gave her he gave her a modest but dignified girl who hopes her spirit will find peace in heaven. Premier peasant, what a waste of time. Yeah, I got the money to burn. For the prestige.
I've scoured the farmers twice over by now. It's still no sign of game. Everyone expects a return trap but with a trophy. But things are looking I will only return with shame. Well I'm a woman of intrigue, so the nearest market shop up there. Got that bear. Almost there. It doesn't cost you. Okay, it's just out of curiosity. And then if I wanted to, I could advantage celibacy, but I'm too old at this point to even give a care. And keep developing that capital till the end of my days. Holy crud! Because of you being an eager reveler and generous, you would lose this many stress and many other factors that reduce the stress? Well, let's host that grand feast then. It might give you some prestige. Feasts! And that being a generous person are a stress killer. Collateral damage. I barely managed to sit down at my seat when I hear a howl emanating from Mayor Chutanesi. It seems that she and Mayor Chichepi have really gotten into it. As Chutanesi is receiving a proper woman handling from Chichepi. Until they realized their martial dance paved its way straight through Egbert's tapestry. I motioned for my guards severed in two, hissing and clawing at each other. A cat fight. <laughs> a duel is presented in front of me all while throwing blame one another for starting the fight. These things happen. It wasn't my favorite piece. Only because of renowned reasons. All right, now high partition. So here's a reminder: under partition successions, your titles will be divided equally between your children. Under high partition, the lion's share of the titles will go to the player's heir. The rest will be divided between your children. And everybody proves it. But that prestige will be well spent. Now all you need is um, again. It's not until primogeniture is where you get that innovation. I mean, we'll be getting this soon. years versus 11 years. You know how you always want to hold more land for yourself, especially that you had taken your interest in Crete recently. So I suggest you should have some guilds. Or maybe fabricate a uh, uh, prestige cost reduction. Taxes are way more important because you know how You've been lamenting about those issues with these, you know, the, the maintenance. So this has got to be it. There's nothing like that. Not too concerned about creating tiles as much as I have a habit of, I'd rather give to the people. I could tell, we could all tell Mayor Kuba had too much to drink, even though he'd insist on showing us how sober he was. Sibling Rise received proved too much for him, and I'm covered in stinking vomit. Oh, 
You ought to be ashamed of yourself. Damn it, man. You gave me stress for that. Let's have a look at you. Oh, your intrigue's good enough. And stewardship to complement that further. Whereas I also have high stewardship. So I think you'll do well. Huh? Imprisoned? Imprisoned? No, he's a prisoner of war. Oh, he was captured in action. The jailer is currently at war. That's why. Spend it for my horse. Now listen, we're not at war right now, nor do we plan on it, because I'm practically going to have to accept the fact that... Uh... Oh, by the way, do we have a Zenith shell or control? Yes, we do. Because I was planning on putting a counselor there to get these two under control. And to have them converted. I don't mind a Cretan culture there. We're not turning it of our... It'll take four years to get complete control over them. Plus, the night effectiveness was already high enough as it is ever since you got that uh, only the strong cultural tradition. So they're good enough. There's no need to approve them further yet. There you go. Patrol fulfilled. Have fun, you two. Murder holes and priest holes. This is, uh, this is I'm being interacted by this uh, wandering. Uh, a pallid individual who looks as if she spent her entire life sulking underground and is lurking in the, in the corner of my throat room. I've heard to tell you might want a secret passage installed. I could craft any impure corridor your twisted heart desires. Well, I am a woman of intrigue, but I haven't really gotten much into uh, intrigue as of late. Yeah! Stutter. I shall enter leave rooms only by the front door, wench! Wow, a woman calling another woman wench? Huh! I'll hold court soon. <laughs> Troubling translation. As I step over the threshold to my courtier's Pacalti's office, I find her bent deeply over a book. The translation of Galen is atrocious, he says it's strong. If I were to follow these instructions, I'm likely to cure my patients and to kill them outright. Let me have a look. I know what that's like. Nothing is missing of the holdings. Again, having creed to ourselves. Twenty-six years to have manualism, and then we'll be able to build. Again, I would like to have either tax offices or leisure palaces. The leisure makes more sense due to, uh, you know, what I had in mind of why do I have this island for myself, in addition to the ones in the mainland. And weren't you supposed to get Dracion? I mean, I'm not going to die anytime soon, so... I guess it would be high time to 
Go get them now. Again, those strange people. Still giving them Cindy names. Plus, having that, you know, that would have a connection from this season onto another, and then you got this over here in the Messenian Sea. So we have some degree of connection, hopefully, with these sea zones in order to maintain, you know, links. Sheikdom of Achaea is another, though. Though you've already fought this man before. So, we should move that rally point back to the mainline. Starting up here. So if Cider Serbia or Bulgaria don't want this, then I'll have it for myself then. <laughs> and obviously, the uh, Greek culture is predominant over there. And also, I never looked up the Sindhi cultural traditions. What are they like? Which again, Indian origin, Indo-Aryan. They speak the Vrachada language. Refined poetry, just like the Cretans are getting. They are seafarers, obviously, because of where they came from. They are medicant mystics, expert artisans, and over the ages they adopted philosopher culture and linguists. And we know the culture head is from way over there in the every sultanate of uh, Sindh. Now, I remember Sindh. I used to run that kingdom during my Bactrian playthrough. A spin-off series of Asturias, my very first CK3 series. So one would think we're pretty much abandoning the idea of further westward expansion to areas that were traditionally part of modern-day Austria as we know it today. Oh, look at this. Separate entities. Easy pickings. Because Great Moravia can no longer support them. We'll have to get those soon after we take care of this piece of business. I mean, obviously you're strong enough. You have the money. No need to buy claims this one. This one's going to be a holy war for the whole duchy. This whole area. But is it really 100%? Yes, it is 100% separate. No, 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 no. Bigness, stop. Not what I meant. Mostly get men at arms only. This. stop that stress gain. And after when this war is over, I'll hold court. We're just only going to take Thessalonica and whoa there. These are two armies. Place them out here would be a bad idea. Head to uh, Kichibo. We will be defending a river crossing because we'll beat them to it. Yeah. 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 
spot here in Skopje, and I am the living legend, just as I wanted. She became my steward. capital, take it over, then we'll go down and head for the real objective of the war. We captured him during the battle and now he escaped. It's probably because of his strength that we severely underestimated. He'll be back serving in his army in no time. Capital. Holy front. A mining settlement. Adds more taxes. Now I feel a little jealous. Think about the taxes. That's a mountain fortress. Well, these are well fortified. So. This is the only area that's easiest to besiege. So we'll head to there. If I want this, this is the cultural acceptance game. It unlocks the cultural emissary core position where employing character in this position increases the opinion of uh, with characters of other cultures and gives prestige. So it's nice. That'd be excellent because you know that bleeder trait for the sake of my son, yes. Didn't even look at the others because I practically got the idea. Maybe next time, Vibrant Court. What's Serbia doing? Holy War? No, that land's mine. So we'll have to get this area right under their noses. Knowing they are taking the most fortified mountain fortress there is in, in the whole Denaric Alps. From Avar to Ruthenian. Back off. Wow, 
really see. We're going to need a vessel. They didn't convert everybody there, nor did they ever have the time to introduce that Cindy culture then. And I don't want to hold that land for myself. Is there a way to sort these out? Just hang on. Regarding culture. Anything that is not Turkic heritage. Just thinking of something silly. Of a total foreigner that would rule over that kind of land. And maybe one day they'll form a, uh, a hybrid culture on their own. And lastly, no pagans. I doubt we captured any of those Sindhis in prison, and I would recruit them. Oh, out of mind. I thought it was a Christianity symbol, but no, that's out of mind. Do have a Cretan. There is a Radonite. A Georgian. Mossy. It's one of the African cultures. Baghdadians, Abbasid descendants, my goodness. That means they have that. Well, how do you like that? And yes, there is a Cindy, but that's a woman. We can't land women. Actually, that's a little bull, I see. Oh, well, that's because they have a city for themselves. Just want to look through it one more time. I was about to say, can you really land women? I mean, I see. Man. Because I want to give away the whole jack on this somebody. But in this case, um. Oh god, she's blind. How did that happen? <laughs> it's just gonna be the way of the world, you know? Air to the future salt tonight too far away to interact because they went to some other part of the world. Just give it a second. Imagine somebody who decides to be a loyal servant to me and to possible in future uh, again can't grant these titles because blindness maybe I mean, it doesn't say, but generally you'd think so. It doesn't say that on their culture. Plus, if I were you, I would convert right now. I'd be willing to accept. Thank you. Now, I guess we might as well just give it to the local noble. What are you doing wasting time? 
can't hold all this land, you know, that's going to put a strain on the economy and all that. We do have a Welsh. Yeah, you can't give it to women. Because they all have to be landed or they are baronesses, mares, duchesses. It's the only way to give them land. See, they all have titles. None of them unlanded. Plus, if you were to give it a mare, it'll turn into a republic vassal. And what good would that do? I think you're better off with having Greeks in your realm, just to keep the acceptance up high with us. So, starting from here. Just a point to some... Oh, son of a beeswax, it's a woman. Oh, anyways, uh... There. If you want to form the title of uh, Dracon, form it yourself. Finally, pay more taxes to me. <laughs> so there. Now it's permanently part of the Kunzakal Kaganate. Get Akea, and then we will definitely have a connection of these sea zones that will lead into Crete. But you're going to have to wait until that old man... Oh, he's dying. Looks like we're going to get this soon. Alrighty then. In the meantime, we should hold court. Let's hear a living legend. Merging of cultural identities. The air is thick with my anticipations. My vassal, Count uh, Sabtilek, approaches me. My lady, I've come with great few news. Well, the solution to fix this problem, it became re increasingly clear that Blatches and greco randonite of ours become more, yeah, perhaps even too similar. Apparently, we show them that it's us. Who are the forefront of innovation? But just to count this, I'm too old to give a damn. There is no need for us to exercise superior over other cultures. Puppy Patron. My hunt master, Duchess Uzgu, uh, approaches carefully, cradling a wooden bundle. Woolen bundle. With a grin, she pulls back the swaddling, revealing a pair of squinting eyes and a glowing tongue. A puppy! She can hardly keep an excitable furball on her. A gift from the finest master glitter you have seen in some time, she says between face licks. You must take advantage and expend your kennels, my lady. Heck yes! Our kennels have no competition. So, the house. We'll have dogs again in the next 30 years. Willing to pay big money on that. A holy tomb. A peasant in front of me seems to be about to explode with excitement. My lady, the miracles, and the holiness, we've been blessed! Her enthusiastic ramblings are too are confusing, but I finally get the gist of it. She wants me to sponsor the cult of a local saint who recently died in Borsa. Onegavan was a miracle maker in life. Uh, only known for eating wild berries all his life and chastely bathing with other men. His tomb has attracted devoted visitors from all over the realm. That's in the county of Mamaros. Yeah, why not? His holiness will get the variation he deserves. At least I don't have to pay my money for it. A new temple there. As I pet the dog on his head, it happily wags his tail. What names would sue him? Something historical, something glued to his grave fur? It's an important decision. As the dog rolls over to let me pet his stomach, I find myself distracted for a while. Let's call it Gray. What a great name. So says you. You dead yet? Scars over scars, aggravated wound. 
Flagellant, stress level two. Hurry up and be dead. So that way truce expires between us and Achaea, and we will attack. Here we go. Shikshansha. Huh. The Shansha, the King of Kings is his name. Although that's a name of an Armenian origin. And a handsome man, so says he. Get him! Take the long way round. This is a recent series of some unfortunate happenings. There's been a heated debate about a local issue in one town larger that is too irrelevant for my attention, but it's contentious enough that two people present, present at a recent meeting of various notables came to blows over. A brawl eventually broke out, causing a great scene, resulting in many injuries. Tensions have reached a boiling point in the town, and it may be necessary for me to intervene as the Katun, who has supreme jurisdiction over the area. I'll attempt to mediate some negotiations between both sides. You damn fool. Ah, oh, crud. She became the mayor of that city. Way over there. But we do have a small amount of the city levies. That means it won't be around. I am sorry, but you need to divorce her. We'll accept. Cost a bit of renown. I'm sorry, you should not be marrying somebody who is landed, but apparently nobody named her other than her. Self defense against possession? I swear, he was possessed by a spirit. He approached me while screaming, speaking in tongues, trying to kill me. A woman cries, it was an accident. He was trying to hurt me, so I grabbed the knife without thinking. I'm overseeing a trial of a commoner accused of murder. She says the man uh, she killed was possessed by a spirit. There are no witnesses, but several commoners did say that this man was strange and would sometimes act in bizarre ways, like as if a ghost possessed him. There have been previous cases where a man attempted to harm others, but never to the point of threatening their lives. Lastly, the woman did not resist arrest and willing com willingly complied with the authorities. Hmm. I'll just say... As she was in danger, her actions are reasonable. No punishment is needed. He had a next door neighbor who was also called the Impaler. Who would have thunk it? Enough money to worth a damn. Just take it. Didn't need to besiege it. And give it to some noble. Another countess. You figure it out. So, with that, 
Now we have visible season, so we do have a connection. Back to the Drakion, to Achaea, and then to Crete. So that way we'll have a connection and it will not be separated from the Empire for good. It will not be separated from the Cognate. So we made a wise move. Now if I were you, I suggest that... Different faith, I can understand. Cultural acceptance, I can understand that. Major difference between the tiers, yes. Ooh, a Catholic. And perhaps that'll be someone a bit more amenable. Now, fishing net weavers. This helps the development and a bit more control growth. Who's there? Greetings, Toad Katyarika of Kotakal. Blessings upon you and your house. Seems there's no recourse for a dispute to settle the battlefield. Northmen Army Conquest of Periaslav. Holy crud! We weren't warned. Periaslavl. That's up here in the northeast, next to Kiev. You know they'll sail up by river, so if I were you, put it up here. We've taken care of the Balkans, but we gotta bring everybody out there. You don't know who you're dealing with. And I suggest you two would come. And ransom these two prisoners. Just to give me some money. Though we may have to cut costs on some of the levies. Arabian Empire. It's called Bedouin now. Something screwy going on down there. During this whole time. of disjointed pirates, landless freemen, desperate lesser children, other sort of miscreants have joined uh, in, uh, in his proposed assault against my holdings. Though the size of the force is formidable, they lack discipline or loyalty, which each scrounge mercenary focused exclusively on what they can get out of the war first and foremost. Unlike the conventional foe, it might be possible to s simply deal directly with the invaders. Perhaps a bargain could be struck. The generosity in me would just say, here, have some land, or tell them, get out of here. But I'll just say, knowing who I am, never! Back to your frozen hellscape of a home, scum. Although that is not like me to say that. But still! 9,000 strong, along with two champions, heading this way. They want this area. This is the objective that they want. I mean, these areas are already futile. That's good to know. Any armies that are purely levies, gotta cut costs. And all the knights are to be transferred into a particular army with the most men in arms. Hold on, hold on. I think we've got this idea. Meet up. And then we'll, we'll do something about that. 
You got money? Yeah, I understand the too many duchies part, but it's more of a me thing than anything else. Okay, here's one thing we're gonna do. Actually, we don't need mangonels, so we're gonna have to get rid of that. Um, as an entirely separate... One second. Because this is a defensive war. We're not in the offense. Yes. Okay, let's try again. See those expenses? That's unacceptable. I mean, our knights will join this army. And uh, levies, we should reduce the numbers slightly. And we know the Northmen sail fast, and they'll be there fast. And then when they get to Periaslava, then. We shall beat them there. Is that it? Yes, that's it. Station in Lubni. Move out. And split up. Then split again. Split again. Okay. Station yourselves in Peria Slavo. Oh. This one here. Zalta Nosha. Another point. Look, we suspect that they're gonna land on a river, so I kinda wanna cut costs, but a part of me would want some another in the uh, Radzik. And one more in the uh, Boris Bill. Just deploy your troops accordingly. As much as I would like to get healthy, I'd love to go to the well focus just to try to stem that income a little. Plus you've already requested that head of the faith. But do you feel that we may have done this prematurely? Are they coming down by land, not by ship? Nope, they are on ship. There they are. You see them. Downwards. God dang it, what are they doing? They're landing out in the step. The Sama figures. It's the first place that they'll take. It has some degree of fortifications, but it's open step, which is good for our horse archers.
Don't let them get away. I'm one of I'm in one of those armies, but the real men at arms will be coming here soon. Yeah, these are all levies mainly. The real heavy hitters are still in the back. But I have the advantage. We got them all. They pay no money to me. Reprieve from Scandinavia Ventures. Somehow this character's want to measure of respite from relentless Viking hordes will not be attacked by landless Scandinavian Ventures. Yeah, at least we made them, you know, go a different way. Again, this is all Pontic Caspian Steppe as it was then called. Pontic Steppe in particular. This whole portion here. Until you get a little up north, then you see plains. A little upwards, and then there's the farmlands. There's plains. Further up north, forests. But keep in mind, I, I don't have possession of all these. Just only the main lady step portion of it. And this way. Now you know what that terrain is like over there. And you know what? Since we're still relatively quite fresh. Just buy the claim from those two. Just to include them into the Kaganite. Yes, no ally. Give it here. Just two quick wars, and then we'll end the episode. You're supposed to divorce her. Yes, my dog's a good boy. Thank you. You're gonna need to find a new one and fast. And somebody that is in. Heritable. Good skill. And smart, too. Not her anymore. And also be sure to check if they have titles to anything. I mean, you're robust, too, so... I mean, I'm sure there's a good chance of a genius, but like to have robust along with that. But one problem. Chased. Never mind. Beautiful. Fertility. Okay, there's a plus. But that's more martial. I'd like to have somebody with more stewardship and intrigue. But there's someone for that. It's around your same age. I prefer somebody a little younger. What's her education going to be? Learning. Yeah. 
Sure. Not the it's daughter. No, it's daughter of the mayor, whose mother is a mayor. Well, what if she becomes a mayor too? There are two different Kazarik families. We came from this one. Mares aren't always inheritable, so don't get yourself too worked up on things you can't control. That's the words of wisdom I said. Don't get too worked up on things you can't control. Form Styomach. Last one for this episode. Out of wedlock. It's no secret that my daughter attends carrying a child could see through a central unit. Not a married woman, however, who fought her child's with mystery until now, allowed to me is the one responsible. Tisk, tisk, tisk. Okay. Karatanians ran this area. We'll decentralize that room a little bit. You'll do. Oh, finally. Just what I want from you. I could use that money for one, create that title of uh, Duchy of Styromark, and then we will use that to give it to one of those nobles down there. Because I would not like to have a theocratic vassal. That's going to be up to up to you. Yes, you're the one. You're the breadwinner. Anything else? That's another piece of the puzzle. Vastly inferior. So that's an open season for Salzburg. Next place to take, which will happen in the next episode. We spent a lot of time with expanding to parts of the Balkans, but we only did this as a reason to. It's like, hey, I like to have Crete. And then you're worried about, hey, what about the succession? And Crete will leave us. Well, in order to have that connection, it'll be through the areas from there to Dracula. 
It's a bit of archaic on that right there. <laughs> you know, it feels kind of similar to how the, the during its heyday with the Republic of Venice of how they came to those territories. I mean, not all of Dracula. No, no, no. Because <laughs> if you're thinking about the days of EU4, off the start. And don't get any smart ideas about going to um, going to there or even to Egypt. Especially when you head down to, you know, areas like um, Alexandria or even the uh, pyramids. If only, right? I mean, you can't buy a claim off of a whole kingdom. It doesn't work like that. You have to do it by duchies. You have to pick apart bit by bit to do that. But then again, you could, you know, have a holy war the kingdom, but I have my reasons. Just don't get any smart ideas, alright? I'm more concerned about the here and now. Which is what that's going to be about in the next episode. Don't do any more expansions, just focus on the Austrian lands, even though Austrian culture doesn't exist yet. Keyword yet. <laughs> I mean, the title, whatever, the Archduchy. You know, one of those decisions you make if you happen to be a culture of that area. Because I'm more interested in Austria than eventually Moravia and Bohemia on territory expansions. That Balkan thing was just because of Crete there. It's just a little place too. It's like, okay, we can assemble armies here and we'll use it as a launching pad for future crusades. Just to save us a few, you know, save us some time. That was the original part of the plan. Not to invade Egypt or any other areas. At least not yet. But, still, in the next episode, this first, possibly there, and how long is this woman going to live? She's become the longest lived ruler in our dynasty's history. She's a living legend and a religious icon, something we have not seen in hundreds of years. But, we'll see you in the next episode. But until then, so long for now.